Hello guys, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's had a fantastic day. Uh, today we're going to be uh, doing a, our draft analysis. It's going to be a very simplified version of a draft analysis. This is going to be showing, uh, basically I'm just going to be discussing what my roster is and why I picked what I picked. Uh, it's not going to be telling any of my like secrets or plans. Sorry. Um, not being going to be telling any of my secrets or plans or anything like that, but um it's just gonna be uh discussing why i picked what i picked in uh, the round so the first round i picked uh dracovish i was gonna pick uh dragapult because dragapult is like this godly versatile pokemon but i went with uh i went with dracovish because uh dragapult was already picked so uh i think uh was it rebel got that i believe uh, such a great pick like Dragapult is in <laughs> insane for this uh, This type of thing because it's just so versatile so many different options and uh, It's just a really good Pokemon, but we got Dracovish. It's like the, the the Pokemon to have in the in anything right now So uh, I think I think it could do really good and I'm uh, pretty excited to use it um, The next Pokemon we picked up was Mew. Uh, I was kind of surprised to get a second round Mew, honestly, uh, I wanted something <laughs> very versatile, and that's exactly what Mew was. Uh, just this uh, extremely versatile Pokemon. Uh, I decided to pick it up on round two because of that. I'm, I'm going to be able to use it for basically anything. Um, round three, we got Toxapex. I was kind of wanting to get something a little more defensive because uh, we got these. Uh, well, Mew could be anything, but uh, Dracovish is kind of hopper offensive. Um, I went a little heavy on the water the first time around, but I ended up uh, switching uh, two of them. I like I drafted four water tops. I ended up switching two of them out, uh, and I'm gonna explain why later. Um, but yeah, Toxapex, incredible Pokemon for a round three pick. Uh, Regenerator is gonna be ugh, hard to overcome. I feel like uh, next Pokemon is Togekiss. Now, a round four Togekiss is insane in this generation. Tokus is our Dynamax captain, by the way. Uh, this thing is going to be incredible. Uh, I'm not going to reveal anything, but it's a very standard uh, threat this generation. So it's going to be really cool, I think. And Aegislash. How did I get Aegislash in round five? Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this motherfucker. Dude, uh, this is inc an incredible Pokemon. Um, it can be specially offensive, physically offensive. Um, it, it, it has incredible defenses when in the shield mode. Can't really take advantage of that too much other than like sword dancing up or whatever. Um, <clears throat> but it can't really take advantage of that in like the sense of uh, being able to stall or anything like that. But it's an incredible Pokemon and I'm happy to have it. Uh, next Pokemon is Tavala. Oh my god. Look how versatile this team is. We got a Mew. We got Aegislash. We got Tavala, dude. It's incredible. <laughs> Again, I was just going for versatility and in case I didn't get a good top or a good uh, Pokemon in a certain top I can always use Savala. Uh, the fire types, all the good fire types were already gone. So I was like, hell, let's just grab Savala. We need a fire type. We got it. Next Pokemon. This was Palpitoad before and uh, it may have been a bad decision to swap it out to Eldegoss. Appletail is a really good Pokemon this one, this game because it's uh, immune to both water and electric, but no one drafted Zolt. Like I was able to switch it for 24 hours afterward. Uh, that's what I did. No one drafted Zolt nah, and uh, I have Dragonfish, so the uh, main threats there are kind of gone. So um, I went ahead and swapped with Eldegoss. That gives us uh, some access to some different types of cores we can run. And stuff like that. That's the reasoning behind that. I think Eldegoss is a very uh, much a sleeper Pokemon. Uh, its typing's not the best. It's just grass top, but it could be really cool. I think it's gonna be. A, it can be a. It's got a really unique thing in that it's. It can rapid spin, but it can also be a cleric, and it can also stall. It has regenerator too, which is just insane. Um, next Pokemon is Conkelder. How the fuck did I get a Conkelder? I don't know. I'm super happy to have a Conkelder though. Conkelder is like one of my favorite fine tops. Uh, tickled to death to get this. Uh, I was um, super happy with that. 
Next one's Galvantula. This was originally a rat originally a rack when it um, again, I went way water heavy, so I had to kind of swap some things out. But what I, well, the reason I went with the rack one is because I wanted something that could hit hard, but also uh, sticky web if we need it. So we could run it in two different ways. Um, Galvantula fits that and it gives us the electric top we needed. So that's why I switched him out. Next Pokemon is Obstagoon. Uh, Obstagoon is incredible. <laughs> like this Pokemon is incredible. Uh, I feel like it's a huge sleeper Pokemon that uh, people are just sleeping on right now, but I feel like it can really dominate some things. Um, so, uh, I j again, I felt like I needed some more heavy hitters. Plus, uh, I wanted that uh, dark fighting socket core. We got the dragon fairy steel core, and we also got a um, grass water. And if we do Savala as fire type, we got a grass water fire core as well. We, we have like the biggest and most versatile team in uh, in existence. Our last Pokemon is Weavile. Originally it was Ice I didn't realize Weavile was available. Um, but then I was like, holy shit, Weavile? No one picked up Weavile? And I was like, okay, well, we got to swap out Ice for Weavile because I don't really know how to run Ice exactly. And uh, I kind of wanted uh, to run something a little more, I was a little more familiar with and uh i could use i feel like ice could be really cool because it's like a huge physical threat but also can be extremely defensive uh but i figured hell let's just go with another uh really powerful uh pokemon and uh, just around our team so uh i feel like this is a really solid team like uh for a physical offensiveness we have dracovish uh Conkelder, weevil I mean, you can be a huge physical threat. Uh, Dynamax Togekiss is insane. Uh, so Ally can be really crazy. For defensive mons, we got uh, Mew, Savala, Eldegoss, and uh, Tox, uh, Tox, uh, Toxpex. We also got Togekiss and Aegislash. So, like, there's some real cool stuff we can do here. Um, I'm pretty excited for our first match. Um, honestly um i'm very excited like i wanted to put these all in order but now i'm just kind of gonna mess them up because they look a little weird just all in a line like that but yeah these are our pokemon guys i hope you guys uh are excited for the iba dudes we're gonna be starting up very soon um let's see i think the first battle goes up the 17th Oh no, the first week is the 17th. The first battle goes up 24th. Let me make sure on that real quick. But I'm, I'm super excited. I've never been in a draft league and I'm, I'm like super excited to uh, finally get into one and uh, see how it's going. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let me see here. uh da, 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 da. where's the i'm looking for the rba discord hold on okay here we go announcements uh week one big yeah the the 24th is going to be the first match you guys are going to see the first match on the 24th so i uh, hope you guys are excited i'll see you guys next time thank you guys so much uh, be sure to check out everybody i'm gonna um be sure to link them um i don't know if i'll get to it this video because i I don't have time to compile a big old list for everybody um but uh we'll be sure to um get everybody linked up um before during the first week so i uh, hope you guys enjoy and uh if you guys got any tips for these pokemon like um if you see anything that i didn't see like uh some particular way to run something please let me know i would love uh for some tips uh we're gonna be practicing with these guys pretty soon on stream twitch.tv forward slash w3s7 if you want to see us doing some practice we're going to be hitting up showdown while um uh, i'll probably have the turbo controller tiny hunt and dracovish or arc result or something uh while we're doing that so if you guys are hyped let me know um i'm, I'm like super excited again like for this series it's going to be awesome um i hope you guys enjoyed the free for alls by the way like um i'm going to try to get some uh more of those coming out for you guys too so uh thank you guys very much for watching i will see you guys next time uh, i love you guys to death um bye